Okay, so let's go ahead and find the area of this composite figure. And remember, step one is identify the type of shapes. We have a parallelogram here, and we have a trapezoid here. Remember, a trapezoid has two parallel bases. So let's first find the area of this parallelogram. And the area of a parallelogram, excuse me, is base times height. Well, the base is given, it is 10 centimeters. And the height, now, it is not the slant height, but it is a line that runs perpendicular to the base, which is 5 centimeters. Okay, that is a common mistake, so don't use the slant height. Uh, use the line that is perpendicular. So that's going to equal 50 centimeters. And next we have a trapezoid. And the area formula for a trapezoid is one half the height times base one plus base two. So base one is 14 plus base two is seven. And then I'm going to multiply the height is again in a trapezoid. The height is perpendicular to the base, to both bases, so that's going to be 6, so it will be 1 half times 6 times 14 plus 7 is 21, and that equals 1 half times, excuse me, 1 half of, let me find my numbers here, 1 half of 126, which is equal to 63 centimeters squared, both squared. So now what we do is we add these two together. We have the area of the first shape, which is 50, plus the area of the second shape, which is 63, and that gives us a grand total of 113 centimeters, and area is always squared. So there we go. So that would be the total area of this composite fixture, figure. Okay, let's work one more. And here again, here's a kind of a strange looking shape. And remember, step one is identify the different shapes. Step two is to use their area formulas. Step three, you either add these areas or if you have a shaded area, you may need to subtract them. So let's begin by finding the area of this is a trapezoid because you have two parallel bases. These are not parallel. And the area formula of a trapezoid is equal to one half the height times base one plus base two. So let's go ahead and plug in some numbers. Remember the height is always parallel to both sides. So it's one half five times base one. Now this is a little tricky. We have 6, excuse me, 4, plus 6 is 10, plus 4 is 14, plus 9, and 14 plus 9 is 23, so it would be 1 half, 5 times 23, which is equal to 1, which equals 57.5. So the area of this trapezoid is 57.5, okay? Next, we just have a rectangle, and the area of a rectangle is base times height. So we will go with, let's look at this. We have a uh, base of 10 and a height of 6, okay? So that will equal 60. And then finally, we just have another rectangle here. The area of the rectangle will equal base times height, which is equal to 18 times 8, which is equal to 144. So now, let's add the area of the trapezoid, which is 57.5 plus the area of this rectangle, which is 60, plus the area of this rectangle, which is 144, and that is going to equal 261.5, 
and the unit of measure is inches inches squared. Hope that helps with finding the area of a composite figure. Thanks for watching. I will leave a link to a page on my website that has area formulas. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share.